Hello and welcome to the CT State Norwalk Spotlight. I'm your host, Amoria Sachevrel, and today we are shining our spotlight on the Career Development and Experiential Learning Center. Joining us as our special guest is the center's director, Kieran Samaya. Welcome to our show, Kieran. Thank you for having me here today. To get started, who in addition to yourself is involved in the center? My um, colleague, Kelly Delmazio, who is a career counselor, as well as Courtney Anstead, who is the service learning coordinator. And for students actively looking for employment, does your center have a job database? We have an online job board, which is robust. Um, you could call it as um, an indeed.com, which is in-house, available to all students. We get over 200 plus jobs posted every week. Once students have found a job they want to apply to, what are the next steps they should take? They should certainly schedule an appointment to meet with the career counselor to have their career documents reviewed, which include the resume and the cover letter. We visited the Career Development and Experiential Learning Center. Let's take a look. Here in the Career Development and Experiential Learning Center, students are able to meet with a career counselor to discuss the path or paths they could take to have a successful career. Not only is it open for current students, but also alumni and community members. The Career Center helps with building resumes and cover letters, searching for jobs, preparing for interviews, and holding mock interviews. The Career Center is located on the West Campus in room 118, and their work hours are from Monday through Friday, from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. To book an appointment, you can email the center directly, and once booked, the appointment will be held via Microsoft Teams. Once a year, the Career Center hosts a career expo. Look out for information about the Career Expo coming March 2024. Wow, you guys have created an amazing environment over there. At the end of the video, we heard a bit about the annual Career Expo. Could you go into further detail about that event? A Career Expo is our signature event where we invite more than 65 employers who not only talk about their companies, the positions that they are looking to hire for, but they also most times interview students and collect their resumes. Um, this is a beautiful platform for students to network with potential employers and to be able to craft and you know present their elevator pitch, talking more about their skills, their competencies, and how they align for the descriptions that they're looking to hire for. Interesting, thank you. For any students that don't know what career they want to go into, are there services to help them narrow it down? We have a career assessment tool called Focus 2 which helps students to understand what interests and skills they have to become more self-aware and how they align with the majors and careers that can be offered to them. So once they take the assessment, um, then they can schedule an appointment with a career counselor in the center to have their, their results reviewed. It's not gonna tell them in black and white that this is your major, but it'll open up their mindset to different paths that are out there. And for my last question of our show, do you have any advice for students who are looking to work internationally? I would say all students should start getting involved, first through clubs and organizations on campus, then participate in internships related to your majors. And from there on, try in getting more immersed into the diverse cultures. Uh, when you're going through internships, it's a great platform for you to network and learn more about the companies if they have branches abroad. That's a great segue into it. Also, there are many study abroad options that they can look at as they transfer to four-year institutions to complete their journey. Kieran, thank you so much for joining us today. We covered a lot of useful information for the students of CT State Norwalk. To all of our viewers, thank you as well, and we will see you next time on CT State Norwalk Spotlight.